Continuing from the previous video, I'll now set up networking. Currently, there is no network interface. Because the ISA network card supports plug and play, it doesn't need any module parameters. The card is detected and initialized automatically. Gen2 configures everything else automatically and the network is now up. Starting the X server takes quite a while on this system. LXDE wasn't all that easy to compile for this CPU. I had to make some changes to use flags to prevent SSE instructions from being generated. Eight hundred by six hundred is the highest the Cirrus VGA chip can handle without additional memory. The Dillo web browser has a retro feel to it. Modern browsers can't be used as they all require SSC or newer CPU instructions, even when compiled from source. My website loads OK, although the CSS formatting isn't quite right. This code is normally formatted by JavaScript, which Dillo doesn't support. Here's another audio demonstration. I had to mute the synth first or it introduces background noise. Larger programs like Abbey Word do work, but not very well. Lighter programs are much better.
Using two useful utilities, I'll save some system details as a screenshot. Logging out of LXDE takes you back to the console session. At the console, there's about 93 megs of RAM available. Shutting down takes some time. The BIOS plug and play configuration needs to be set correctly in order for the necessary IRQs to be available. It's usually best to disable any serial or parallel ports as they also each need an IRQ. This motherboard also has onboard USB. That's all for now, but I do plan to make some more similar videos in future.